subject matter expert of this video is Dr. Iram Khan from Jamia Millia Islamia, New Delhi. And the academic expert or the reviewer of this video is Professor Jasim Ahmed from Jamia Millia Islamia, New Delhi. Hello, my dear students. I am Dr. Iram Khan, Assistant Professor at Institute of Advanced Studies in Education, Department of Teachers Training and Non-Formal Education, Faculty of Education, Jamia Millia Islamia, New Delhi. Today, we will be talking about a topic which is related to the concept, the principles and the stages of development. Let us start the session first with the objectives. Let us now see what exactly are the stages of growth and development. For us human beings, life starts from the fertilized ovum in the womb of the mother. Not only before birth, but also many years after uh, the, uh, this fertilization, child is a helpless organism. Unless this child is helped by the continuous process of uh, the growth and development and uh, the child attains maturity, basically the human child is very much helpless and depending on the adult members of the uh, family and the society. This child is supposed to play um, a kind of uh, uh, role where uh, when the the responsible role in the society is expected from him which can be attained only by the assistance of the elders and the adult members so before being called adolescent this child is called as a infant or a child and there are many stages through which this child actually goes on and attains uh, the adulthood and what are these various stages of the growth and development? What are those age groups in which this, uh, this human being is considered to, uh, with, with uh, particular names? Let us try to see those different stages. And uh, I must tell you that uh, even the prenatal stage, the pre-birth period can be considered because the life of a uh, human is started once the conception has happened. So the first stage can be considered as the prenatal or pre-birth stage and this stage starts from the conception and it ends till the birth. The second stage is considered to be the stage of infancy and this stage starts from the stage of birth like once the child takes birth and till the child attains the uh, age of two years by then we can call him or her as the infant and this is the stage of infancy then we have got the stage of childhood and this basically after the infancy after two years are completed we can say that this human uh, like now till the age of 12 years we can call him a child or we can say that the span of childhood goes on around to 12 years. Now, there is again, there is, a, there is a point which is to be considered that the onset of puberty. Suppose the onset of puberty is a little early. Then we can say that now the child is transformed to an adolescent. So basically after childhood, there is a stage of adolescence which starts from the onset of puberty and it ends to basically it goes on to the age of maturity. And in general, we can find uh, this age group uh, starting from 12 to 13 years and it uh, goes on around 19, 18 to 19 years in our country. So from 12 to 19 years or 13 to 19 years, we can consider uh, a person to be an adolescent. And after the stage of adolescence, the next stage is considered to be adulthood, which is uh, which starts after 19 years, or you can say that it starts from the uh, starting of the 20th year and beyond this 20th year, we can consider this human being an adult and uh, adulthood is the stage which can be considered to happen after 20 years and we can even uh, call this human adult till the death 
because there is another stage when we say that it's later adulthood or old age but basically if we try to make a normal categorization then adulthood is the uh, stage which we can say that beyond 20 years till the attainment of uh, more maturity till death we can find this human uh, to be considered as an adult so these are those stages of growth and development which are universally seen in the human beings and in due course of these uh, stages we find the students or the children going to school attaining uh, their education getting their jobs uh, then uh, getting married and uh, bearing children and doing all those sort of uh, things which they do in their lives let us try to understand the different aspects or dimensions of development the first dimension is the dimension related to the physical development the physical development of the individual includes the development of the internal as well as the external organs of the uh, individual then the next dimension is the dimension related to intellectual or mental development this includes the development of intellectual powers like the power of reasoning thinking imagination concentration sensation creativity then increase in the uh, in the cap cap capability of memory memorization basically perception association discrimination then making generalizations and many more so all these are the intellectual or mental developmental dimension then the next is the emotional development under this aspect starting with the basic instinct the evolution of various emotions take place and also the emotional behavior is developed to the point of emotional maturity so this is the uh, next dimension then we have got the other dimension which is related to moral or character development so moral or character development includes the evolution of moral sense and development of the character the individual develops his or her ethical and moral codes and basically the culture the environment in which this the human being is uh, staying that is responsible for the moral and character development of the, that individual then the social development initially the child is very selfish and anti social in the beginning gradually this child is developed into a social being by learning to behave according to the rules and norms of the society and then this child makes adjustment to the society and becomes a social being then the next is the language development or the dimension which is related to the development of language it is the most important aspect of social development of a child initially when a child is born this uh, child makes her or his own sounds and babbles but later on as this child grows mimic uh, the mimicry of um, sounds like the child tries to mimic the sounds and words which subsequently transform into a language for communication with first with the family members then with the friends and those uh, individuals who come into contact to this particular child so these are those six dimensions or aspects which are uh, very much important if we try to see that to which level or extent or to what are those areas in which the development takes place and these are few of those references and the suggested further readings which can be considered once you are, uh, are trying to study more about the topic so see you all another day another time in another session Thank you for this time. Thank you so much.